Hi there, I'm Nita and Fiki and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I'm making this video out for the people who have applied to do human life sciences or human biology in university or you already applied for it and you're wondering to yourself, what the hell did I just apply for? <laughs> Not to worry, I'm here to help you. Just to qualify myself, I'm a master's student at the University of Stellenbosch, my master's in physiology. And I have an undergraduate degree of human life sciences also from the University of Stellenbosch. Just a quick reason why I'm doing this video. I remember when I was applying for university and I applied for human life sciences and I had no clue what the heck that was. I did life sciences in high school and I feel like when you're in high school and you're good in biology or life sciences, um, physics and maths, people automatically push you to do three degrees three degrees one being something in the medical field whether it be medicine nursing ot physio two to be engineering no thank you no fancy engineers you guys are great but no or three in pharmacy or pharmaceuticals and again i'd rather die like die than do chemistry so no i don't know why we don't talk about the options and the possibilities in biological science but i feel like we need to just to give people more options to do when they leave high school with that being said let's get into the five tips or advice that i wish that i had when i started out human life sciences so number one i'm gonna say this i'm saying this with love i'm saying this with kindness i'm saying this as this being a safe space but i need you to hear me okay listen to me don't use human life sciences as a stepping stone to get into medicine don't do that to yourself <laughs> ah dio <laughs> so many people who applied for this degree use this degree to get into medicine do you know how i know this because i was those people too <laughs> i looked at human life sciences and i looked and i compared i was like okay similar to medicine you know so just in case i don't get into medicine we can just do this and they can move into medicine afterwards the heartbreak you're gonna give yourself my good dude the heartbreak you're gonna give yourself don't do that to your mental health don't do that to yourself not to say that you won't get into medicine if you do human life sciences people do get into medicine doing this degree like i've seen it i've seen people in my um first year class getting in i've seen people in my third year class getting in it is a possibility but it's highly 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 competitive when you're already in the university system trying to transfer to another degree especially medicine medicine is highly competitive and if you're putting all your ducks into this degree being your stepping stone to get into medicine you will give yourself heartbreak don't hurt yourself like that don't do that to yourself i'm not saying this to discourage you or to make you feel like there's no hope i've seen like i've seen people get into medicine in my first year of um, human life sciences. i've seen people get into medicine in my third year of human life sciences but it's such an uphill battle and i've seen how when people hyper focus on this one thing on this thing of me getting to medicine is the one reason i'm doing this degree it firstly you rob yourself of opportunities that science provides you as a degree itself and also it, it chips away at your self-esteem and at your worthiness a lot take it from me like i did relatively okay in my undergrad years i like i passed i did my honors i'm doing my master's so you could say that i'm a relatively good student but i was so focused on getting to medicine that i didn't allow myself that grace of realizing then look and looking and seeing how far i've made it like i robbed myself of seeing the opportunity science could give me i robbed myself of my own achievements that i've done to get to where i am and i just feel like don't do that to yourself don't rob yourself of opportunities because you're hyper focused on this one goal number two you will fail <laughs> when i say fail i don't mean like you will fail your degree or fail course or maybe you'll fail course or two now and then <laughs> shout out to genetics how we're trained in high school is that we do a certain action for a certain result you know you study chapter eight 
in evolution and then in your test they're gonna ask you questions from chapter eight and then you give that but with science it's like there's so many unexpected variables that come with it that if you still put yourself in that mindset of having things work out systematically you will kind of burn out because it doesn't work like that allow yourself to fail allow yourself to understand that failure is going to happen but allow yourself the grace to get up again number three it's okay not to know what's going on <laughs> it's okay not to have things figured out i had to work on this a lot because okay this is gonna happen a lot people are gonna go up to you and be like so what are you studying like are you gonna become like a biology teacher or something and you can please tell someone like i don't know just be like i don't know you don't have to know no <laughs> you don't have to know where your life is or where this degree is gonna take you as long as you know that you have a passion for science that's all you need at that point in your life because honestly expecting an 18 year old to know exactly where their life is going to be at in the next five years is ridiculous but there is this internalized pressure that you feel when people ask you that question like so where do you think this degree is going to take you and you're like you have no idea and it's fine not knowing this feeling can build up a lot especially when you see your friends who are kind of doing traditional degrees like a teacher a lawyer or an accounting degree but you kind of just be like i'm a person with a bsc <laughs> don't stress about it don't put yourself under that pressure it's okay enjoy the way you are in life right now enjoy the experiences the exposure that you're getting and just really be in it enjoy it and love it number four calm down calm down number four if you thought doing human life sciences you're gonna escape things like maths escape things like physics escape things like chemistry um i have some bad news for you i remember my first year i like did chemistry and here's the thing with chemistry i don't say hate because hate is such a strong word i strongly dislike chemistry with a firing passion so when I saw that in my first year I had it, I was like, I thought I left you in high school. I thought I was done with you. I thought I was done with you. And now you're here in my life. Why? Then I thought, okay, it's only going to be my first year. Second year, third year, it's going to be chilled. Kanti. Then I got biochemistry. Got biochemistry in my second year and I was like, Am I a joke to you? But then I was like, okay, I'm done. We are going to like cruise. In my third year, I was doing anatomy. I was like, okay, I'm like, good. Get into my honors. Guess what? Chemistry was there again. Maths was there again. I was like, I, I escaped you people. I escaped you. I, I left you in the peripheral view of my life. You were gone and now you're back and i don't know why all jokes aside it really shows you that science is not a linear profession that it branches off so beautifully into one another and back again into yourself and then out again into the outer sphere and then back again into what you're studying and that's the beauty of science that you will never know it completely you never know it completely there's always going to be something that's going to take you out and be something that you didn't expect but that's just the beauty of science like it's amazingly scary and confusing and it's lovely <laughs> and lastly the fifth tip that i would give to you is that research the university that will give you the best opportunities to explore the different types of human biology that they're out there the term human biology is such a broad term within human biology there's anatomy physiology biochemistry microbiology genetics and so much more and 
go to a university that allows you to kind of have snippets of each one of those things so you can have a clear decision of what type of human biology you would like to kind of go further in i hope this video was helpful i hope that the tips that i gave you was helpful um if you have any questions any questions all about human life sciences or human biology please leave them down below i will answer them gladly um i'm here to help you i'm here to guide you if you want more guidance from a person within human biology please subscribe let me know so i know to make more videos around this topic i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you soon bye